guess where we are? There's an O. An O, yeah. So it's Tom and Tony. We are at Rancho, Rancho del Z. Z. Go ahead. You oh, say yeah. it. Yeah. Rancho, Rancho del Z. 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 Zocalo. All right. Um, so we're going to check out the breakfast menu here. Um, tell, tell them why, why they have breakfast here. Because it's not at Riverbell anymore. In Riverbell Terrace. So they've moved over some of the favorites from Riverbell over here. And, and then added Mexican Mexican favorites. And we're gonna Mexican inspired favorites. Mexican inspired favorites. And we're going to try them and let you know right. yay or nay. There you go. All right, or, or maybe this one. Yeah. Alright, let's go eat. Okay. Alright, so we got our food. What did you get? I got... Just so everybody knows, I've been up for eight hours. I was up at three o'clock Texas and flew in just for this, so I'm a little tired. But I got the steamboat breakfast. Okay. Pancakes, I got extra butter because it's good for the heart. Yeah, nice. Bacon and eggs and then biscuits and gravy. And we over, over ordered just for you. Okay. And I will say that on the biscuits and gravy on the placard as you come in on the menu, it does not say it includes sausage. So I asked for side sausage. Then they put this on there and I went, well, you know, that's not what I wanted. So that, just so you know, it doesn't say it comes with sausage. It does come with sausage. All right, cool. And I got the, the two, two of the, the Mexican inspired items. I've got the chilaquiles and the um, chorizo burrito. There we go, chorizo burrito. Tom, is there a reason there's no there's space here? Yeah, I don't know what that is. That's extra. That's just for expansion of, I don't know. Okay. All right, we're going to try Okay, so we've tasted all of this stuff. Uh, what's what's what? Any highlights? I actually was pleasantly surprised by the pancakes because okay. I wasn't expecting the pancakes to be good. Okay. But they were really good. It's also been eight hours since I ate, so yeah, that yeah, might have yeah, helped. Yeah. And I slathered them in with butter. You didn't have peanuts? No. Okay. How no, no, I no slapped? I don't know. Maybe okay. we had it. Um, we both tried the chilaquiles. Yeah. They need something. I'm going to pleasantly, pleasantly, substantially disagree with my partner Mary Jo about the chilaquiles. I don't, I'm not a big fan. They, I, they need something not substantial, it's just tortillas and eggs and Well, sauce. to me it's the texture. It's, okay, eggs, imagine if you will, eggs, enchilada tortillas, so there's no crispiness, refried beans. It's almost like I'm an old person that can't chew their food. It, it's why I don't like bread pudding. Okay. And I'm not an anti-texture guy, but I like I've liked the um, chilaquiles better at the old Surfside Buffet. Okay. And then the, the, the pseudo chilaquiles at Tortilla Joe's Taqueria. I'm not a big fan of these ones because there's no texture. What about the burrito? Well, it reminded me of when I used to eat in high school at the snack bar, but I don't know if that's a good thing. It was good. It was okay. But you thought it was... I, I thought it needed more spice. I thought it was, wasn't very spicy. For having, supposedly having chorizo in it. No, yeah, you couldn't taste the chorizo because the verde sauce kind of took over. But the verde sauce is a little vinegary, sour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what, we found, that's what I thought in the, in the chilaquiles too was the, the sauce was a little sour. And I was actually happy with the biscuits and gravy. What kind of sauce is this, like regular sausage on top? Yeah, they the same breakfast sausage they cut up and put on, which I like how they did that so I don't have to cut it with my fork. And, um, I mean, it's biscuits and gravy. It's not deep south biscuits, but I was happy with this. All right, so and I think in terms of filling this for, what is it, like, like $8.99, this yeah, is really going to fill you up. And you've had some of the other items. Any, any winners that aren't on here that we didn't get today? No, because I had the tamales, and I felt like, I know I'm getting real negative here, but tamales, I'm eating lunch. I don't want to eat lunch or breakfast. It was a, it was the breakfast. They said it was no different. So I would say the winners are still the pancakes, the Mickey pancakes, and I would say the biscuits and gravy. Uh, uh, and yeah. I was actually happy with the eggs. The eggs look good. Yeah, so one of the cool things that they do here at, at Richard Zocalo's, they brought over the, like we said, they brought over the menu from uh, Riverbell, and they have the, the Mickey pancakes. And they did a good job keeping it good. Like the, the what was good over there, maybe is a little better now, or it's just good over here. But know that there's two separate lines. So there's the Mexican cuisine to the left and the American straight ahead on the right. So. All right, very cool. So that's our review of Rancho de Zucalo Breakfast.